Oh, I'm excited about it already. You guys don't even know. Good morning, Mission Control. It is a beautiful day. It is currently 77 degrees Fahrenheit out. What is that? I think that's like 20 some odd degrees Celsius. I'm headed over to the neighbor's house, going down my driveway. Actually returning uh, some audio equipment. Wrangler Star let me uh, test out some different audio equipment. Unfortunately, nothing's working for these phones. You know, you just gotta, going mobile, you, it kind of sucks actually. Sorry about that, but uh, got to return some stuff to Wrangler Star and then I'm gonna show you guys what I've been up to yesterday I was working out uh, outside beautiful summer just decided to show up I uh, was working over at the other neighbor's house and uh, got uh, Don't have my seatbelt on Breaking the law breaking the law I spent all day over there yesterday and we got all the fence posts put in for the vineyard and it's like 200 some odd fence posts I pounded yesterday, so I'm a little sore today and it was hot yesterday. I drank a ton of water and I even uh, took some electrolytes to really help out. It really does help out getting some electrolytes in your body when it's hot out and you've been hydrating a lot. Uh, so today uh, I have a lot of stuff to do on irrigation and I'm prayerful that I'll actually be able to get all the irrigation taken care of. But uh, that's probably pressing my luck as usual. We'll see. Well, here's what I got done yesterday. All the fence posts are in on the vineyard. Turned out really nice. Really happy with that. All right, just got back from Wrangler Star's place. It is really hot out, really, really warm. So Mrs. Martian's got me trying out her Norwex sunscreen lotion. Wore it yesterday. Thought it was all right, but you gotta watch how much you use. It's natural, it's natural. It has less stuff in it that's bad for you. Apparently, I didn't know this, but apparently the people who make stuff like this, they can put what's called fragrance as an ingredient and they can put anything they want into a fragrance and they don't have to show that, which seems kind of really stupid way around. <laughs> like who thought of that? Who left that loophole there? It seems like a pretty clear loophole. But anyway, I'm giving it a fair shake before I go back to my copper tone. Cody, God bless him, loan, loan me a tool that's going to help this job today go a lot easier. There is so much to do, so let's get started. I know Mrs. Martian would probably be ashamed for me showing you the back of my truck. You're all going to be a slob, but man, I'm farming and ranching right now, and this is my farm and ranch truck, so back off, man. Back off. All right, here's the tool. Single tooth ripper, at least that's what I'm calling it. I know there's probably lots of technical names and everything out there and I don't know all those names because I'm just a normal guy doing a bunch of stuff here. But what I do know is it's purpose and it's really gonna help me out. So I need to put in a lot of irrigation um, tubing and control wires today. That means digging because we want those all underground. I need it, it's the supply lines and the control lines. So the ground's already getting super hard. Digging it by hand is just not even an option because I would be dead. Uh, like that would take days and days and days to do it without like straining every muscle in your arm. Uh, what I did before is I used a box scraper and I dropped a single tine down and uh, ripped a small little trench and it worked really really well. But the one problem with the box scraper is that in order to get the tine down into the ground you have to set the scraper basically right above the ground and that means as the tine grabs earth and throws it up, which is supposed to do, it gets caught up in the box scraper box and you end up pulling all your fill to a single spot and you make a big mess and then you have to do it all, which is still better than digging everything by hand. But with a single tooth ripper, you don't have that problem. I think this gives you a pretty good idea of what we need to do. You can see where I've already started trenching. I'm at the greenhouse. We gotta go all the way up there. Then you saw the tractor going around and then here we have to go all the way down to that building. We just gotta get this thing out of the truck, which shouldn't be too hard, put it on the track. Oh, I'm excited about it already, you guys don't even know. Simple things, man, it's simple things, it's simple things in life.
The first run is done. It took me about 20 minutes. That's not bad at all. And I'm on my second jug of water. Well, I just got all the wire strung out. I think it's over a thousand. Yeah, it's over a thousand feet of wire. We got it all strung up, or strung in, strung down, laid down, whatever you want to call it. A little tired. I think we're gonna go ahead and stop here today. Uh, the sun's nice and hot right now. Been going all day. Been drinking lots of water. I think I've had about four of these today. So feeling pretty good, but still sore, and we got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be getting uh, all of this tubing here. It's got to go in the ground uh, right here, make a big old loop. And then we got to start running the, uh, the irrigation lines out. We got to do the splice into inch and a half and bring that down to one inch to support all this. And uh, we got lots of wire to connect and connect the controllers. And, and there is a chance, I'm not saying we're going to make it, but there is a chance that tomorrow we can see water running which would be great. So, thanks so much for following along. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a good hard day's worth of work. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Don't forget that you can ring that bell uh, so you get notified when I put out new videos. You could also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you really like what we're doing, you can support us on Patreon for the cost of less than a candy bar per month. We'd really appreciate it. In the meantime, everybody, this is The Real Martian, out.